Of all the players in baseball history, there isn't one who possesses as much talent and humility as Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig, who is also known as the Iron Horse, is considered to be the greatest first baseman to ever play at the Yankee Stadium. His unmatched athletic ability and stamina made him an American hero. On June 19, 1903, Henry Louis Gehrig was born in a Yorkville section of Manhattan in New York City. He was a son of two German immigrants and was the only one of four Gehrig children to survive infancy. Gehrig's childhood was shaped by hardship and poverty. His mother, Christina, was a strong woman who was adamant on creating a better life for her son and would do whatever it took. She worked tirelessly cleaning houses and cooking for the wealthy in order to support Lou. She was insistent on making sure Lou received a good education. In high school, Garrick excelled not only in academics, but also athletics, especially in football and baseball. In 1921, he went to Columbia to pursue a degree in engineering on a football scholarship. However, his athletic career got off to a bumpy start, being banned from intercollegiate sports during his freshman year due to being caught playing for the Giants, a minor league baseball team. But in 1922, Garrick returned to sports as a fullback at Columbia. That next year, he pitched and played first baseman for the Columbia Nine. Paul Critchell, a Yankee scout, saw the Columbia baseball team play, and he was instantly impressed with Garrick's ability, especially his hitting skills. In April 1923, Critchell signed Garrick to his first professional contract with the New York Yankees. The signing included a $1,500 bonus, which was a fantastic sum of money for the Garrick family, and allowed him to move his parents out of the city, and more importantly, play baseball full-time. In 1925, Lou became a Yankee for good, replacing aging first baseman Wally Pitt. Unknown at the time, this would be the start of a Major League Baseball record-breaking streak where Lou would not leave the field for 13 consecutive years. In the beginning of his professional career, the quiet and unassuming man struggled to make friends with many of his colorful Yankee teammates, especially legend Babe Ruth. But through his hardworking nature and natural ability, he would earn their respect. Garrick became an offensive force who had the capability to play through incredible pain which earned him the nickname, the Iron Horse. He played in an impressive 2,130 consecutive games, a record that stood until Baltimore Orioles shortstop Cal Ripken Jr. broke it in 1995. This record did not come easy, playing well every day in spite of having broken bones and back spasms. The Iron Horse was loved by all Yankee fans, not only because of his baseball ability, but his humble manner. Lou Gehrig had an impressive career. In addition to his 2,130 consecutive games, on June 3, 1932, Lou hit four home runs in a single game. Later in 1934, he led the American League with a .363 batting average, 49 home runs, and 165 batted runs. He holds the record for most grand slams in a career with 23. He also hit 493 home runs, the most of any first baseman in history until Mark McGuire. However, all good things must come to an end, and in 1938, it was clear that something was wrong. Garrick lacked his usual strength on and off the field. His hard-charging career seemed to have caught up with him, and his body started to fail. And on May 2, 1939, the Yankee captain took the lineup to the umpires as usual, but his name was not on the roster. He took himself out of the game. Later, doctors at the Mayo Clinic diagnosed him with a rare degenerative disease called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. ALS is a devastating disease that strips the nerve cells of their ability to interact with the body's muscles. His diagnosis with the disease helped put the spotlight on the condition, and in the years since Garrick's passing, it has become known popularly as Lou Gehrig's disease. On July 4, 1939, the Yankee team had a recognition day to honor Garrick. There were more than 62,000 fans in the packed stadium. He was a symbol of strength and valor to the entire country. For the past two weeks, you've been reading about a bad brag. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. That I might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. Thank you. There was not a dry eye in the Yankee Stadium that day as the Iron Horse said goodbye to baseball, his teammates, and his fans. On that day, he became the first athlete to have his number retired and was inducted to the Baseball Hall of Fame. The Iron Horse succumbed to ALS on June 2, 1941, and the whole country mourned. 
To this day, Lou Gehrig is remembered as being one of the most talented baseball players of all time. However, even more than that, he is remembered as a humble, kind-hearted, and hard-working, authentic American hero.